హలో స్టూడెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు లెక్చర్ లెవెన్ ఆఫ్ కెమికల్ ఈక్వలిబ్రియం ఇన్ ప్రీవియస్ లెక్చర్స్ వీ డిస్కస్డ్ అబౌట్ ఎఫెక్ట్ ఆఫ్ కాన్సన్ట్రేషన్ చేంజ్ అండ్ సెకండ్ వన్ ఎఫెక్ట్ ఆఫ్ ప్రెజర్ చేంజ్ అండ్ థర్డ్ వన్ ఎఫెక్ట్ ఆఫ్ అడిషన్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్నట్ గ్యాస్ అండ్ ద ఫోర్త్ వన్ ఎఫెక్ట్ ఆఫ్ టెంపరేచర్ చేంజ్ నౌ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు లర్న్ అబౌట్ ఎఫెక్ట్ ఆఫ్ క్యాటలిస్ట్ ఆన్ ద ఈక్విలిబ్రియం first of all here we have to know what is the catalyst the substance which is not consumed in the reaction and increase the rate of reaction is called catalyst see here these are the reactants and that reactants convert into products and this is the activation energy without catalyst the activation energy is more when we add the catalyst the catalyst decrease the activation energy means it increase the rate of reaction so the reaction in which catalyst used gives the product fastly so a catalyst increase the rate of reaction and it decrease the activation energy for forward reaction and backward reaction consequently make a new low energy pathway so this is the low energy pathway with the catalyst and does not affect on the equilibrium the catalyst does not affect on the equilibrium let us consider the formation of ammonia from h2 and n2 gas let me take that reaction so this is the formation of nh3 h2 gas plus n2 gas equilibrium nh3 and delta h is equal to minus 92.2 kilojoules so it is a exothermic reaction because delta h is negative so it is a exothermic reaction and in the reaction the total number of moles of products so here 2 moles 2 moles less than the total number of moles of reactants so in that reactant side so here 3 moles and here 1 mole so total 4 moles so total number of moles of products is less than the total number of moles of reactants for this reaction the equilibrium constant kc is equal to products concentration divided by reactants concentration nh3 concentration with coefficient 2 power 2 divided by reactants concentration h2 concentration power 3 and n2 concentration value is 3.6 into 10 to the power of 8 at room temperature 25 degree centigrade in exothermic reactions equilibrium constant kc decreases with increase in the temperature with increase in the temperature the kc value will be decreases because in exothermic reactions the backward direction is favorable at high temperature means we are increasing the temperature so the backward direction is favored means the concentration of reactants increases if the concentrations of reactants increases then the kc value will be decreases because the denominator value increases automatically the kc value will be decreases and at low temperature at low temperature the rate of reaction decreases the rate of reaction decreases and it takes long time to reach the equilibrium and at high temperature the rate of reaction increases and it takes 
less time to reach the equilibrium but here at high temperature poor yield so there are two problems at high temperature the product will be poor and at low temperature the rate of reaction very slow so to prevent it the german chemist fritz haber discovered the catalyst the haber discovered the catalyst consisting of iron which is increase the rate of reaction so when we add the catalyst to the reaction and maintain the temperature which is neither more nor less by increasing the pressure increase the formation of ammonia means by adding the catalyst the yield of ammonia increases so the optimum conditions for synthesis of ammonia using the catalyst are temperature the temperature is 500 degrees celsius and pressure the pressure is 200 atmospheric pressure so at these conditions by adding the catalyst to the reaction the yield of ammonia increases in haber's process similarly in manufacturing of sulfuric acid by contact process let me take that contact process so in that contact process we are preparing the sulfuric acid so here so2 plus o2 equilibrium so3 and the kc value the equilibrium constant kc is equal to 1.7 into 10 to the power of 26 so this value is more so according to that high kc value the reaction almost completed but here the oxidation of so2 to so3 is very slow that reaction is very slow so platinum or vanadium pentoxide is used as a catalyst to increase the rate of reaction so the catalyst to increase the rate of reaction it does not effect on the equilibrium this is effect of catalyst next one application of le chatelier's principle for industrial synthesis of ammonia and sulfur trioxide in that first one industrial synthesis of ammonia by haber's process let me take the reaction n2 gas plus h2 gas equilibrium nh3 gas and that uh, delta h is equal to mi minus 92.2 kilojoules so here the delta h is negative so it is a exothermic process for this uh, exothermic reaction so the equilibrium constant kc is equal to products concentration nh3 concentration power 2 divided by n2 concentration and h2 concentration power 3 so here that kc value is 3.6 into 10 to the power of 8 at room temperature 25 degree centigrade so here the, the kc value is large at low temperature it indicates all n2 and h2 have to be converted into nh3 means the forward direction so this reaction is at low temperature according to le chatelier's principle the forward reaction is favorable for formation of ammonia at low temperature but at low temperature the rate of reaction 
the rate of reaction will be slow the rate of reaction will be slow and does not give significant amount of ammonia within the time so here maintain the temperature which is neither high nor less and add catalyst iron to increase the rate of reaction and molybdenum used as a promoter to get significant amount of ammonia within the time so this reaction is at low temperature in exothermic reaction low temperature is favorable for forward direction means the formation of ammonia but low temperature slow down the rate of reaction so to increase the rate of reaction add catalyst iron and add molybdenum as a promoter so in this reaction left side reactants 1 plus 3 4 moles and right side products 2 moles so 4 moles means 4 volume gives 2 moles means 2 volume it indicates decrease in the volume decrease from 4 volume to 2 volume so increase in the pressure favors the production of ammonia so maintain the temperature which is neither more nor less and increase the pressure to get more yield of ammonia so Ebers process is carried out at high pressure at high pressure so this is the industrial synthesis of ammonia by Haber's process so here the optimum conditions optimum conditions are the pressure is 200 to 500 atmospheric pressure and temperature is 725 to 775 Kelvin and the catalyst is iron the catalyst is iron and the promoter is molybdenum so this molybdenum increase the catalyst performance in the reaction and the second one industrial synthesis of SO3 so SO2 gas plus O2 gas equilibrium SO3 gas and delta H is equal to minus 189 kilojoule so here delta H is equal to negative so this reaction is a exothermic reaction and the equilibrium constant Kc is equal to products concentration SO3 power 2 divided by reactants concentration SO2 power 2 and O2 concentration and the equilibrium constant value 1.7 into 10 to the power of 26 at room temperature 25 degree centigrade so here the Kc value is very large at low temperature it indicates all SO2 have to convert into SO3 means forward direction but at low temperature the process is very slow and it does not give significant amount of SO3 but for exothermic reactions low temperature is favorable for forward direction so here also maintain the temperature which is neither high nor less and platinized asbestos are 
vanadium pentoxide used as a catalyst to increase the rate of reaction to get significant amount of SO3 and in this reaction 3 moles of reactants here 2 moles and here 1 mole so total 3 moles 3 moles reactants 3 moles means 3 volumes of reactants gives 2 moles of products means 2 volumes so here 2 moles so 3 moles of reactants gives 2 moles of products 3 volumes of reactants gives 2 volumes of products means decrease in the volume so high pressure favored the formation of SO3 but high pressure leads to corrosion of chamber therefore maintain the pressure also maintain the pressure also so in exothermic reactions low temperature is favorable for forward direction but low temperature decrease the rate of reaction so here maintain the temperature which is neither high nor less and add the catalyst to the reaction and by increase the pressure increase the formation of SO3 so and here also we have to maintain the pressure so here optimum conditions are the pressure is 1 to 2 atmospheric pressure and temperature is 673 to 723 Kelvin and the catalyst is vanadium pentoxide so these are the optimum conditions so this is about industrial synthesis of SO3 and next one ionic equilibrium in solution in this we will study the equilibria involving ions the aqueous solution the aqueous solution of sugar does not conduct electricity does not conduct electricity but the common salt NaCl added to the water it conducts the electricity it conduct the electricity the sugar solution does not conduct the electricity but the NaCl solution the common salt solution conduct the electricity and the conductance of electricity increases with the increasing of concentration of salt if the concentration of salt increases the conductance of electricity increases based on ability of conduct electricity the michael faraday scientist michael faraday classified the substances into two categories number one electrolytes the substances conduct electricity in their aqueous solutions called electrolytes and the second one non electrolytes the substances not conduct electricity in their aqueous solution called non electrolytes according to their strength electrolytes are also classified into two types number one a strong electrolytes and b weak electrolytes
come to the strong electrolytes on dissolution in water completely dissociate 100% ionization takes place dissolution of NaCl in water it completely dissociate 100% ionization takes place Na plus plus Cl minus and come to the weak electrolytes on dissolution in water partially dissociate less than 5% ionization takes place in strong electrolytes 100% ionization takes place in weak electrolytes less than 5% ionization takes place example acetic acid CH3COOH and equilibrium CH3COO minus plus H plus. So the equilibrium will be established in the weak electrolytes. So in weak electrolytes equilibrium is established between ions and unionized molecules in aqueous solution is called ionic equilibrium and acids bases and salts come under electrolytes and they may act as either strong electrolytes or weak electrolytes so acids bases and salts come under electrolytes and they may act as either strong electrolytes or weak electrolytes